Michelle Corbowie Wilk. Welcome to my home and my studio. I'm so pleased to be a part of the Jones and Terwilliger Gallery. I have several new paintings that are headed to the gallery very soon and I would love to talk to you about them. All of my paintings, they first start off with a sketch. After the sketch is all down, I come in and I do the silver leafing. Um, once the leafing is done, I come in with oil and I fill in my subjects with oil paint. Many thin layers of oil paint is applied before um, I consider it complete, after which everything is then varnished. This particular painting is entitled Rained Desire. And with the strength of the Pegasus being held back by the delicate swallow, it's a little bit of a play on our own thoughts and how we sometimes feel that we pull ourselves back and uh, so rain desire go for your desires part of the magic of silver leaf is the change of light when it hits the painting this painting is entitled enchantment and what could be more enchanting than a great horned owl with a hummingbird sitting in her nest above his head and a little leaf above her head now the little leaf I picked up in my backyard and for the other two subjects I went through a lot of my photo reference and uh, compiled the two. I love to create whimsy but then again still maintaining their wildness and their accuracy. I strive for accuracy in all of my subjects and I think it came out quite nice. But I love painting the big cats and of all the big cats I think the tiger is just one of the most striking uh, with their contrasts and their colors and that lush thick coat which I really try to capture with this painting. And I like taking an animal from its known environment and putting it in a contemporary setting which I believe I really achieved with this patterned background and the silver leaf. This painting is entitled Realm of Possibilities and uh, once again to just use our minds and um, everything and anything is possible. So while I was working on this painting, I uh, had everything drawn out. I was working on it and I had the Luna moths in here and I ran into a girl while I was walking my dog and she had a tattoo of a Luna moth on her foot. And I said to her, I said, oh, it's funny. I said, I'm working on a painting with Luna moths. And wish she was surprised I even knew what a Luna moth was because she said, most people think it's just a butterfly. And uh, so she told me that Luna Moths represent spiritual growth. And I thought that was pretty cool because of this time that we're living in and with going within and having our own spiritual growth, uh, I found that pretty cool. I was surprised myself that I would be called to do a painting of a unicorn. I haven't painted anything mystical since high school when I did a lot of dragons. And, uh, but I feel that I'm really the vessel the painting wants to be created. And so I was on board and I'm very pleased with the way this painting came out.